Hello my beautiful Geminis, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the month of December. So at the end of your reading I'm going to pull some cards to get some more clarity in your situation. So if you have like a specific thing in your mind stay till the end and let's see what's coming for you. By the way I'm offering private readings now so if you would like to receive one from me you can go ahead check the description box down below. I'm also going to put up a link up there you can click right there okay. Let's see what is coming for you for uh, the month of December. Right away, I open it. I can see the beak of a bird here. This is actually the third week of December. The beak of a bird, and this is like a huge bird. So this can be like a big news coming for you. But this big news is not coming like from far away. It's very close to your heart. This is something specific that you're manifesting, maybe something that you really have in your mind that you have been contemplating. So you're going to receive some news about it. And I feel like because the bird has like a lighter, like a white bright aura, a, a halo actually uh, surrounding it, it feels like a good news coming about this issue. I see outside of the cup there's actually like little chunks of money just spilled out this can be help coming your way from like a family outside and there are communication lines forming outside of your cup so they are probably going to be getting in touch with you and connect you and let you know about some of the the things that you need to hear maybe in order to create this wealth oopsie and let's see what's inside beautiful there's a huge tree forming here. Also, the, the bottom of the, the bark of the tree looks like here when we turn it around. It's like a huge fish. And somebody's actually catching and holding up this fish within the second week of December. Like there is actually going to be some struggle. This can be also like an opportunity. I see a letter F here and there's a letter E. Um, and also there's a person here just flowing in the wind there the their skirt is flowing in the wind and um, they are um, like a uh, mental support let's say this person is going to be the mental support there's a letter e as in eric f as in fairy and uh, so you are catching this huge fish but there's going to be some effort put into it i see here you uh, have like a cloak on your back so there is going to be divine help and also can be a knowledge you have maybe a skill set you have will be very useful for you to catch this fish within the second week okay within this first week i see there's an archway forming also looks like a letter m here m and r maybe mary um doesn't have to be this can this doesn't have to be initials of someone can be like in the first name or the last name i also have someone actually like covering their okay there's a romantic scene happening here there's a woman with long hair a man they're just holding their chins and just there's the letter s maybe in the first name or the last name s now that the i see an s and m and s in this man in the person's name c can be in the other person's name and I see here, there is actually not real, they're not touching, but there's a romantic scenes happening here. Because I see a unicorn behind this person, I feel like this is going to be something that uh, is actually unbelievable for you. Unicorn, because they are mythical creatures, this is your wish fulfillment, but this is a wish that you cannot foresee. I see in your heart, like I said, there's actually a tree forming here, and the tree has a stem. We have, like I told you, a huge fish, which indicates that you're going to be catching a big fish or, and uh, maybe like a um, taking a step towards your future. You're starting a new job, which will actually bring your life long term financial stability. OK, and because the trees usually indicate that I also see like a um, crescent moon again here and also. Let me see. This looks like kind of like a the darker side of the yin yang energy. So this can be the masculine energy coming to light. Maybe there is going to be a lot of action and friction happening during this time. And like I told you here, you're pulling out this huge fish out of the water, and that's going to require some energy. Maybe that's that's what this is symbolizing here. Towards the third week, I see three Christmas trees. I don't know if that means anything to you. Um, there's going to be a place probably. You're going to be going to three different places to visit three different trees because like everybody's house, if they have um, Christmas trees, um, this can be indicative of that. And there's a short trip that you're going to be taking. At the end of this trip, there are two people 
I don't see any letters from their names. One of, the, one of them is older, the other one is younger, and they have a distance between them. This can be actually someone that you have a distance between you and them, and this person and you, you're going to travel this path, or they're going to be traveling towards you, but there's going to be some, like, you're going to come together and make up. If you have been, um, like, sulking to each other and not really seeing each other, the, 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 something is broken between you, there's going to be mending between you and this person. I see towards the end of the year, there's a path you're traveling forth and back. You're going to be coming and living forward. I see here like a corn husk, a little corn, and the devil is present. Devil represents Capricorn energy. Also, at the same time, when you look at the devil, uh, like I have this deck, uh, we have the goat represents in the devil, and we can see them in the devil card. Um, there's a goat, like a... The Capricorn, actually, is just a goat. Uh, this indicates maybe something that you're being very stubborn about, okay? Maybe you don't want to travel this path, even though the path is opening, and there's a different opportunity showing itself, and you're just ignoring it. You're being stubborn, like a goat, maybe here. There you go. In this deck, this is the, the devil energy. And um, Capricorn is actually known with its uh, stubbornness also because they are very goal-driven. So there is actually something that you ex accepted as a goal and just pushing you forward, uh, maybe draining your energy. And you're going to find a path opening in front of you. And uh, do not be stubborn to walk that path, even though it just initially starts like a tight path when you travel it it's going to actually open up to a new cornfield i said uh, we see a corn here corn on the cob and this is going to open up to a new cornfield meaning a new um abundant state abundant wealth a source a new wealth to you okay and towards the end of the year there's also a short path this can be like because the new year's a new maybe you're going to be taking a break and traveling somewhere to catch yourself you know some fun Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. I see a heart shape forming up here. There are two people. This heart shape actually, okay, your desire is coming really fast, by the way. This heart shape might indicate something in your heart that your heart's desire that you're manifesting something. And I, like I said, I see two people coming together initially. But this can be like a perfect match you're creating also. Like a perfect relationship, perfect friendship. We have here a dolphin. Dolphins, because of their playful nature, indicate someone very playful, very compatible and smart. Um, intellectually satisfying your needs. I see a letter E here. It can be in the first name or the last name of the person that you're meeting. And if, at first, it might be a little bit like... um. Uh, disconnect happen between you and that person but eventually the things are going to fall into right place but i see here somebody standing who has something in his mind this person looks like a powerful authority and he is staring at this rose rose indicates love uh, this can be someone maybe you are going through you're looking for a new job this can be someone seeing you as this rose this beautiful a person that is actually going to fit perfectly in the company or someone in the uh, power um, they're going to actually have a genuine love towards you that they're going to be showing up and um, this can be this doesn't have to be romantic love this can be a person that you're working with a close friend that you have and definitely within like the second week of december you're going to feel their love they're going to find they're trying to find a way to actually express their love to you that's why they're looking at the rose we have here the Ace of Wands, uh, no, no, Knight of Wands. <laughs> yes, Knight of Wands is actually a fire energy, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And this can be someone coming with a new offer, which is actually, this offer can be uh, in the area of a new career. And uh, this is fire energy, indicates that this is going to be happening really fast. This can be a person also showing up in your life. That is, that wants to start something new. We have the full card here, Libra Energy. They want to start some new relationship, maybe friendship, partnership. But they're going to be coming towards you with a, very, with a very good offer. And this can also be like, you might have it on your chart as an energy. This can be like something that is going to actually push you to start something, a new adventure. We have the three of wands. Definitely New Year is looking good. 
you're going to be starting this month with new adventures and love and also uh, love is in your cup i saw a lot of love in there also uh, like the new beginnings that you're going to get the opportunities that you're looking for for a long time let's get into your messages from the mermaids i know i usually say the mermaids um depicted as like vicious creatures in mythology but in this one the karen k uh deck this is beautiful like an um, oil paint like um cards here what we have initially is move forward this seems like the poseidon this is not a mermaid actually you got a mer not like a merman just a regular man however he's holding the trident of the poseidon and he's ruling the ocean here you can see and um, it's telling you to move forward if you have like an idea maybe uh, you are planning to move somewhere change the lane on your job and maybe just find a new opportunity and the decisions needs to be made we have here another mermaid move forward with the decisions that you have in your mind maybe you have been contemplating do some things and you have been holding back this is actually a very clear message to you take the steps forward the path will be clear okay the path will open up for you all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye